Israel has developed several air-launched ballistic missiles in recent years as a growing market for these relatively cheap but effective long-range weapons has emerged. Most recently, Israel Aerospace Industries unveiled their new air-launched version of its LoRa ballistic missile, simply named Air LoRa, in this year's edition of the ILA Air Show in Berlin. The ground-launched version of the LoRa features a reported range of up to 400 kilometers and was already battle-tested by Azerbaijan in 2020. The air-launched variant is designed to accommodate blast fragmentation or deep penetration warheads, significantly enhancing its capability to engage hardened strategic targets effectively. In this video, we're taking a closer look at Israel's newest air-launched ballistic missile, the Air LoRa missile. Let's dive right in. Already tested from an F-16 fighter jet, the Air LoRa missile is a long-range air-to-ground weapon designed for strike missions against high-value, well-protected assets such as command centers, air force bases, infrastructure, and naval vessels in densely populated coastal regions. The missile will also be compatible with the Boeing P-8 Poseidon maritime aircraft. In fact, Israel Aerospace Industry stated that all modern fighter platforms, as well as transport aircraft with hard points, could potentially carry the Air LoRa missile. The missile can be integrated into airborne platforms either as a standalone configuration or through the avionics system. IAI claims it is user-friendly, offering simple fire-and-forget and autonomous operation. According to the documentation provided at the Berlin Air Show, next to the full-scale model of the missile, the Air LoRa will feature various warhead options and will be capable of engaging enemy targets from distances beyond the reach of enemy air defenses. This capability is primarily due to the missile's advanced INS, GNSS navigation system, a key feature highlighted by IAI-2, likely acknowledging the vulnerabilities of GPS weapons to modern electronic warfare jamming. The company also states that the high survivability of the missile is achieved through end-game trajectory shaping and a 90-degree attack angle. Although detailed information about the Air LoRa remains limited, it is known that this missile was developed from the ground-launched version of the LoRa missile. Initially designed for launch from mobile ground platforms, the ground-launched LoRa is classified as a quasi-ballistic missile. This means it follows a high arcing trajectory, similar to traditional ballistic missiles, but can alter its direction and altitude during flight. This capability allows for mid-course corrections, making the missile more challenging to detect, track, and intercept, thus enhancing its effectiveness against missile defense systems. The ground-launched LoRa missile measures approximately 5 meters in length and has a launch weight of just over 2,200 kilograms, with the warhead accounting for about 800 kilograms. What's interesting is that Israel has not historically developed many long-range missiles, but as we mentioned earlier, this seems to be changing. In terms of long-range air-launched missiles, Israel has the Rampage, reportedly used in a retaliatory attack on Iran earlier this year. The Rampage was co-developed by Israel Military Industries, now part of Elbit Systems, and IEI. But Israel also uses the air-launched Sparrow, developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, which also manufactures the ROCKS, a long-range air-launched standoff missile. So, for Israel Aerospace Industries, the air-launched LoRa may represent a competitive route to the international market against Rafael-made weapons. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for the latest defense news and analyses.